Good morning, everyone. I, my name is Prem Kumar K, Assistant Professor of English, Government First Year College, Chikbadapur. I am going to teach for the program BA. Subject is Optional English for the semester second. In this session, let us discuss about the chapter 8, that is Wings of Fire, except 3, Propitiation from 1981 to 1991. In the last session, we had discussed about the introduction to visit to NASA and Sarabai's encouragement, what is the meaning of reverse engineering, what were the seven liberties for achieving RATO project and what was the advice of Professor Koreans to achieve the major projects. In this session, let us discuss about how Anna University gave doctorate for Kalam. So there was a minor tussle over his services, means Kalam's services occurred between ISRO and DRDO. But that matter was settled by the Defense Minister R. Venkatraman and Dhawan. Kalam was appointed as Director of DRDL in February 1982. Kalam maintained good friendship with Dr. Arunachala. Anna University, by recognizing his achievements, Ms. Kalam achievements, awarded doctorate award convocation presided by Professor Raja Ramana. Next, let us see how Kalam took a lot of uh, risks to establish guided missile development program. So, guided missile program was established to solve technical problems quickly, to create forum of senior scientists and missile technology forum was formed and after days of debate, guided missile program was established. Helicopter arranged by Defense Minister to attend Jamila's wedding. Kalam was much interested in doing his own work and he completely completed his proposal of missile development project. And when he heard that missile development project, Defense Minister was very happy and he agreed. Defense Minister approved the post of director at DRDL for Kalam and Dr. Arana Chalam at the same time mentioned that Kalam had a, to attend the wedding of one of his cousins. Defense minister immediately arranged a helicopter to take and bring back Kalam. After project proposal was made before cabinet, and cabinet approved it and sanctioned 388 crores. And when the staff heard all this, it was enthused with fire and action. Kalam presented the sanctioned copy before the committee and staff was enthused with fire and action. Then surface to surface missile project was started and it was called Prithvi. Tactical core vehicle was called Trishul and the surface to area area defense system was called Akash. Anti-tank missile was called Mank and the dream of Rex is called Agni. And now there was a task before Kalam to select the leader and the Sundaram was selected to look after Putvi project and SR Mohan was selected to look after Trishul project and RN Agarwal was selected to look after Agni. Prahlad and NRIR were selected as to look after Akash and Nag respectively and VK Saraswat and AK Kapoor were made deputies to Sundaram and Mohan respectively. 
and what makes a productive leader in the words of kalam let us see according to kalam a productive leader must be very competent in staffing he should continually introduce new blood into the organization he must adapt at dealing with problems and new concepts and he must be capable for instilling enthusiasm in his team and he should give appropriate credit where it is due praise publicly but criticize privately these are the qualities of a good leader and students you have to learn all these qualities in order to become a good leader and let us see how indira gandhi encouraged by her visit to drbl indira gandhi personally appraised herself of the progress of igmdp on 19th july 1984 shrimati gandhi visited drbl and she was immensely conscious that she was the leader of 800 million people every step every gesture every movement of her hands was optimized and the esteem in which she held our their work in the field of guided missiles boosted their morale immensely and she said your fast pace of work is the hope of entire nation and kalam found four young brain bright scientists professor m n deshpande of the indian institute of science found four young brain scientists working in the field of fluid dynamics professor i g sharma of iisc developed a missile trajectory simulation software and professor bharti bhat of iit developed delhi developed ferrite phased shifters to track akash professor saraf of iit kharagpur with bk mukhyod pajay made a millimetric wave antenna for the nog seeker and professor pilani developed an impact diode in consortium to overcome technological foreign dependence foreign dependence and what are the successful successful outcomes by all these so let us see one by one the first one is goal setting means if you want to get success means you have to first set the goal then you must be very positive that is positive thinking and next you must visualize whatever you dream so visualizing is one and believing so first you have to have the faith on yourself and dr kalam inspired the young generation to question freely so an atmosphere of confidence grew among scientists thank you one and all